والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين أولا نرحب بضيوف الكرام لي سيدون توفاس الدوكي إتافيتي أن بريزونتي سون ترافاي كي أونتر دون الكادر دون بريباراسيون دون تيز دو دكتور أل أم بي أنتيتولي تيوراتيكال بريدكشن أو سومي كوندكتور بيهافير إن نيو كاترنالي كومباوند دون سيت تيز لي ديريجي بار دكتور خرفاوي فيحة لونيفرسيتي دو سايدا و البروفيسور بوليا كرتون لونيفرسيتي دو ديسمسيت Donc ce travail va être évalué par le docteur Akrish de l'Université de Wadla, le docteur Ajaj Azdi de l'Université de Tronchant et le docteur Boucherf de l'Université de Tissonsit. Donc le juge est vous accorde le temps nécessaire pour présenter l'essentiel de votre travail. Good morning, esteemed member of the jury, respected supervisor, dear friends and beloved family. First of all, I would like to, I would like to, uh, <laughs> to express my heartfelt gratitude to my supervisor, Dr. Khatewi Freha, and my co-supervisor, Professor Boudia Ketuma, for their guidance and support. Then, I will extend my appreciation to the member of the jury for their time and expertise in evaluating my work. Finally, I would like to, to thank my family for being by my side all the time and believing in me. My work starts with a general introduction, providing a general, a general overview of my work. Following this, I will delve into the fundamental principle <coughs> of density functional theory. After exploring density functional theory, I will talk about I will talk about one of the most important methods in the framework of density functional theory, which is fully neurized augmented plane wave method. Moving to the most important part, which is results and discussion. Finally, I will wrap up my oral presentation with the conclusion and perspectives. Introduction. Material science delves into investigating the properties of various materials. One of the most important materials are the ternary calcogenide semiconductor of type. We, will, uh, we can take this atom from different groups, from the group 1, <coughs> group 4, and 5. The investigation of quaternary calcogenide began in 1958 when, when Goodman <coughs> illustrated that various sequences of novel semiconductors could be derived from the established one through. Through, uh, to the, through the process of cross substitution. The, the process of cross substitution states that we can, we can substitute one element by pair element from the different uh, group while maintaining the balance, uh, the balance electron cost, constant. This graph shows how we drive our quaternary compound CMG2INS4. <laughs> it, uh, it can be seen that uh, we started from a binary compound, MGS, to, to drive our quaternary compound, while respective, while respected the principle of cross substitution. Our materials showcase four uh, phases, uh, wurzite, sunlight, PC phase, castorite, and finally sunlight. This type of co compound has a lot of application like adjustable semiconductors, nonlinear optics, photovoltaic, and thermoelectric. Now I will move to methodology. In order to predict the properties of materials, we use up in issue calculation based on density functional theory in the framework of full linear augment augmented plane wave method. The basic concept of the EFT is to use the electron density as a main variable instead of the total wave function mentioned in Hartree-Fock approximation. The EFT is based on Hohenberg and Cohn theorem in 1964. The first theorem states that the external potential is a unique functional of the density. The second theorem states that the universal functional for the energy can be defined in the term of the density. The exact ground state corresponds to the lowest value of this functional. Cohn and Sham equation make Hohenberg and Cohn theorem into practical use. The basic idea is to, is to replace the real system of interacting electron into fictitious system of non-interacting electron moving in external field. Here is the, the functional energy the 
functional energy uh, of Ho of Kuhn and Sham equation. E X X C is the exchange correlation energy. This energy can be found using some approximation like local density approximation and generalized gradient approximation. Up, uh, recently, researchers focuses on up, up initial calculation, uh, named first principle method. One of the most impo uh, important method is full linear augmented plane wave method, as I mentioned above. Uh, the, the basic idea of full linear augmented plane wave method is to divide, it, is to divide the unit cell into, uh, into mephantine region and interstitial region. Well, in the, in the region near to the nuclei, uh, far away from the nuclei, electrons behave like they are a free atom and can be described by a plane wave. While in the region near to the nuclei, electrons behave like they are in a free atom and can be described by atomic like uh, wave function. Moving to the most important part of, uh, uh, of my presentation, which is results and discussion. This section is divided into two main parts. The first part investigates energetic, dynamic, mechanical stability, while the second part investigates electronic, optical, thermoelectric, and, thermoelectronic, and piezoelectric uh, properties. I use in my cal calculation a comma is equal to 8, key point 600, NMT 2.16, 1.8, 2.3, and 1. Uh, 84 for Cu, Mg, In, and S atoms, respectively. The cut of energy in minus 6 repair. Energy convergence is uh, 10, 10 in the power of minus 6. Uh, charge convergence is 10 in the power of minus 5. Uh, then sky grid is 34. Uh, in my calculation, I use three different codes VN2K code, Voltrop, and VATS code. VN2K to calculate structural, electronic, and optical properties. Voltrop to calculate thermoelectric uh, properties. While VATS code to calculate piezoelectric uh, properties and dynamic stability. Uh, this graph shows the results of structural optimization. Um, uh, the curves are fitted using birchman nagin equation. We can see that WS phase has the lowest energy, so it is the most stable f phase among the studied one. So uh, consequently, uh, consequently, all other uh, uh, properties will be conducted to this phase. <coughs> Uh, the structural parameters uh, of our calculation are summarized in this uh, table, we, uh, along with their formation energies. We know that uh, the lower formation energy uh, corresponds to the, the most stable phase, and we can see that in mm, we can see that WS phase has the lowest energy, so it is the most uh, stable phase among the studied one, confirming the results obtained above. The lattice parameters were calculated using both full linear augmented plane wave method and DFT D3. Um, we can see that the results are uh, similar, uh, showing the fiability of our uh, calculation. Uh, in order to ensure, to ensure uh, the stability of our compound, we study its dynamic stability by studying phonon dispersion. We can see that the, phonon, uh, the frequencies are positive. Uh, with the with the phonon gap, in this phonon gap there is no vibrational mode. It corresponds to the electronic gap. We will discuss about it later. In order to study the mechanical stability of our uh, of our compound, uh, we uh, we determine its elastic constant. There are nine independent elastic constants due to the crystalline structure of our compound. Uh, we can see that uh, the elastic constant, constant verify all the necessary criteria for mechanical stability, so our compound is mechanically stable. The bulk modulus is equal to uh, 66, so uh, under 100 gigapascal, indicating that my compound is a soft material. Uh, Jung modulus, uh, Jung modulus is equal to 64. Uh, it indicates that um, our material, our material, has uh, a stiff characteristic. 
Moving to, to the electronic uh, properties, the calculated uh, band structure uh, using GGA and GGA plus MBG approximation shows that um, our uh, compound is a semiconductor with the, with the direct band gap equal to 1.229 electrovolt and corrective band gap with a value 100.672 electrovolt using MBG. Moving to uh, total and partial densities of state, we can see that, uh, that the valence band is uh, divided into three main regions. The first region uh, came from the hybridized combination between, uh, between SP and IN, uh, uh, SP and INS, uh, while the second region came from SP and the third region came from CUD. The, the conduction band is divided into two regions. The first region, uh, the first region came from uh, INS, while the second region came from uh, INP. Uh, we studied molecular bands using ELF analysis in the plane 001. We can see a clear, uh, anti, uh, we can see there is an anti-bounding between, anti between C, CU and S atom while the banding between IN and S atom. In order to study how, how the material interacts, in order to study how the material interacts with electromagnetic radiation, we, we study its uh, dielectric function. The dielectric function has a real part and imaginary part. Uh, this uh, optical spectrum shows the imaginary part of uh, our dielectric uh, function. Uh, there is a remarkable similarity between YY and ZZ orientation, while an anisotropy becomes evident in juxtaposition with XX direction. First optical critical point Q and 1.11 uh, electrovolt uh, correspond to the electronic band gap. Uh, there are three main peaks labeled A, B, A, B, and C. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, peaks represent permitted interband transition. Moving to uh, the real part of the electric uh, function, we can see that epsilon one line spectra cross four times the zero line, while uh, epsilon x x and z z cross it twice. We know that when epsilon equal to zero, there is a maximum of absorption. So uh, this is a good condition for plasma oscillation. But uh, I need to mention that this is not enough. We have to calculate uh, loss uh, function. Uh, absorption uh, coefficient. Um, there is a high absorption, uh, uh, high absorption in the energy range of uh, eight to ten. Well, the the wavelength, the, uh, the well, the wavelength of incident light belongs to ultraviolet. From uh, zero to eleven, uh, for. Uh, Spectrum of optical reflectivity from 0 to 11, same peaks as epsilon 2. From 8 to 15, uh, the reflectivity is maximum, where um, epsilon is negative, domination of absorption. Uh, when I found this result, I was a little bit astonished, but how can be a maximum reflectivity and domination of absorption at the same time? When I searched, I found that um, materials with high refractive angles can have maximum reflectivity and domination of absorption at the same time. Uh, the refractive angles, similar to epsilon 1, we have a maximum refractive angles in 2.02 electrovolt and 4.14 electrovolt. Uh, now moving to thermoelectric uh, property. Thermoelectric is the capacity of material to uh, is the capacity of material to transform and use heat into electrical into electrical power. One of the most important coefficient is the Seebach coefficient. We can we can see that the Seebach in coefficient increases the temperature arrived to 295 uh, Kelvin, uh, showing a strong thermoelectric uh, response. After that, the Seebach coefficient decreases with the increase of uh, temperature. Uh, this is due to some factors like uh, uh, high thermal conductivity, changes in carrier concentration and mobility. Electrical conductivity. We can see that as the temperature rises, 
the, uh, the electric conductivity rises also, uh, showing a semiconductor behavior. The power factor, the power factor, uh, uh, the power factor study uh, the relationship between, between electric, between electric power and the uh, and work. We can see that uh, above 400 K temperature, as the temperature rises, power factor rises too. Uh, we know that there are some materials works better uh, in uh, in high temperature like uh, capacitors. Thermal uh, conductivity, thermal conductivity, which is directly related to electric uh, conductivity, uh, we can see uh, we can see that as the temperature rises, thermal conductivity rises also. But when we compare the maximum of thermal conductivity to the maximum of electric conductivity, we can see that electric conductivity. Conductivity is much higher than thermal conductivity. Uh, so, uh, so our material is efficient thermal. This is a good uh, sign to efficient thermal electric uh, conversion. Uh, moving to piezo piezoelectric uh, properties. Piezoelectric is the capacity of a material to, to transform electric current into mechanical deformation or to transform mechanical de deformation into electric uh, field. There are five uh, piezoelectric, piezoelectric uh, coefficients. We can see that epsilon 15, epsilon 24, and epsilon 31 are uh, higher, showing a strong piezoelectric response in this direction. While epsilon 32 is a little bit smaller, uh, showing a slightly weaker piezoelectric response compared to epsilon 24 and epsilon 31. We can notice also that epsilon 33 is negative. Uh, showing that the generated electric charge is in the opposite direction to the applied mechanical uh, stress. Moving to statistic dielectric tensor. The statistic dielectric tensor is represented by matrix 33. The diagonal element represents the response of materials to mechanical deformation in Cartesian di direction. We can see that uh, we can see that the off diagonals are symmetry. This symmetry comes from the symmetry of our uh, crystal structure, and they are different uh, from zero. So our material uh, is isotropic. I need to mention something that this result. I compared this result to Ce2 results of piezoelectric to Ce2 ZN and SN as four uh, compound. Moving to conclusion and perspectives. Uh, well, all the expected properties results of Cu, Mg2, INS4 compounds have been demonstrated, making this material a good candidate for thermoelectric and piezoelectric application. Uh, we have found that Wurzite semi phase is the most energetically stable, uh, favorable, dynamical and mechanical stable. Uh, our material is dynamically and mechanically stable and exhibits piezoelectric behavior. Our compound is a direct band gap semiconductor with a band gap of 1.64 electrovolt at theta. Uh, our compound is a thermoelectric material with a thermal conductivity and high power factor. Moving to the two perspectives. Uh, optimization, we can uh, we have optimization of nonlinear optical response of Cu Mg2 INS4. The study of substitution effect of the super onion by another calcogen element such as selenium and tellurium or the electronic and optical properties. Uh, the research for new quaternary calcogenide materials based on uh, light or abundant elements that meet the <coughs> non-linear optics. Uh, thank you so much for your attention.